guys, so this is today's makeup look. Uh, today is St. Patrick's Day, so I did a green look. Uh, I know this won't go up on St. Patrick's Day, but if you want to see how I got it, just keep watching. First, I'm going to prime my eyes with the RK by Kiss eyeshadow primer. Got this from a CVS down in Florida. This is practically a dupe for the Urban Decay uh, eyeshadow primer that everybody likes so much. Uh, I thought I had it. If I had it, I would pick it up and show you, but I don't see it at the moment. Alright, so I'm going to primarily use this little City Mini palette in Urban Jungle. But I am going to use a couple colors from other palettes, probably. We'll see. So I'm going to first go in with that color as my transition shade. That does have quite a bit of sparkle to it, so, you know, most people probably would not want that as a transition shade. But it doesn't bother me. Next, I'm going to use this Absolute New York. I'm going to use that green. Alright, now I'm going to go back into the City Mini Palette and I'm going to use... I think I'm going to start with this one and then I'm going to work and build it up darker. Now I am going to use this color green from the Marc Jacobs The Starlet Palette. I am going to spray my brush with some MAC Fix Plus. Oh yeah, look at the difference. Look at the difference between that eye and that one that I hadn't done it yet. I do want to deepen up around the spotlight green, um, so I'm going to go back into the City Mini palette and this darker shade here. And I am going to use that color again. go back into the City Mini palette and use that white shade. Alright, and I'm going to go in with this Bliss Instant Tint Stunt Tinted Skin Perfector. This is basically a primer. This is something they don't make right now. Um, you used to could buy it off of their website, the Bliss website, and they also sold it at Kohl's. And someone told me they're redoing their brand. So I don't know if it's something they're going to bring back. I hope so. It's a very nice, thick primer. It feels very, very thick, poor feeling. Since I'm using that, I'm also going to use this Bliss Staycation Foundation, also from that Bliss company. This is one of my favorite foundations. Again, you can't purchase it right now. You can, every once in a while, you'll still find it in Kohl's which is why I'm using it now. That way, if you see it in Kohl's, you can pick it up if you're interested in it. I love this foundation. I just think it looks wonderful on the skin. It lasts all day. So if you see it, 
I would highly recommend getting it while it's still available because I don't know if that's something that they're going to redo or make something new in its place. All right, I went ahead and finished my foundation off camera. I'm going to use the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer, the new one that everybody says is similar to Shape Tape. I do have Shape Tape, and I'll be real honest, I like this better than the Shape Tape, so, you know, that's just up to you. It saves you money. I would definitely try it. If you get it from Ulta, you can always return it if you hate it. But I really like it, so. All right, now that I put that concealer down, I'm just gonna go in with this. This is the Japanese Pixelated Color Finishing Powder. Um, I think they only have one shade and it's like translucent. All right, I'm gonna use this bronze booster. It says Glow Boosting Pressed Powder in Medium to Dark from Physicians Formula. That's what it looks like. I'm going to use this blush, mm. the NYX Baked Blush Illuminator and Bronzer. Don't know about bronzer, it's definitely like a straight up blush. Um, this is in the color Chiffon and it comes in like a dome here and mine broke to a million pieces so I put it back together in the lid so that's why it looks different. All right, while I was off camera, I went ahead and did my brows with this Maybelline Total Temptation Brow. It's good. I mean, it's a brow pencil. Um, I just assumed buy these, and they're cheaper. So, And I uh, used this Brow This Way gel to like set them in place. It's pretty good, and it's cheap. Um, I used this Makeup Forever Aqua Eyes Pencil in my waterline. This is in the shade 5L. It's kind of a green color. Um, I did my uh, wing liner with this Femme Couture Eternal Color Felt Tip Liquid Eyeliner. And it's just black. Um, really nice line. It did a really good job. I went ahead and did my inner corner highlight with the white from this palette. And next I'm gonna use this Wet n Wild highlighter. Uh, the Mega Glow Highlighting Gold Bar. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use this brush. Wet n Wild has some of the best highlighters from the drugstore. I don't know if you can purchase this one separate. I had got it in a set. Um, I'll link it down below if I find it. And then I'm going to use this Essence Volume Stylus Mascara. Alright, now that I have that mascara on, I'm going to use this um, e.l.f. lip liner in the color Natural. I really like their lip liners. They're very creamy feeling and they're very similar to the Wet n Wild um, lip liners if you're 
interested in them, that's something that you could compare them to. And lastly, I'm going to use this Bare Minerals um, Marvelous Moxie Lipstick and Speak Your Mind. Uh, I don't know if you can purchase this anymore. I got this in a little trio that had three different uh, lipsticks in it. So if I can find it, I'll link it down below like I do everything that I use. If it's still available, I'll have it linked below where you can purchase it. So here is the finished makeup look. I did use that uh, Wet n Wild highlighter and dabbed it over my lipstick just to make the lipstick color a little less pink and a little more peachy toned. Um, I was going to say, if you don't want to have three palettes, which some of these may be hard to get, um, I'm not sure how easy it is to get the Absolute New York or the Marc Jacobs palettes anymore. I, I will, of course, link it down below if I see them online. Um, but either way, if you have that City palette, City Mini palette from Maybelline, you can basically achieve the same eye look just using it. You just use that uh, original transition shade that's kind of golden and use it in the middle instead of the Marc Jacobs, and it's going to look basically the same. So hopefully you learned something from the video. Hopefully I showed you a new technique or something. Um, I'm always wanting to teach someone something about makeup, so either you learned about a product or just something. So if you like the video, just be sure and subscribe to my channel, and you'll be able to see when I upload the next one, and I'll be uploading it pretty soon. So thanks for watching.